Davo. It may have been a defeat at the weekend, but there were plenty of positives to take. Have they been carried into training this week? Yeah, I think so. I think going into the game, we, we knew it's always a tough place to go and uh, it's always going to be a challenge to pick up the points. But obviously, from, what, from our point of view, having gone in front of it, it was really disappointing to, to lose two goals. Um, some sort of pride ourselves on this season as a defensive record. So it's disappointing to come away from the game with nothing. But as you said, there's a lot of positives to take from it, which we'll take into the game this weekend. You bounced back well from that defeat at Everton. Uh, with with the win against Hull City, so you'll be looking for more of the same this weekend, I guess. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing when you, when you suffer a defeat or a, a disappointing result is to bounce back straight away, and obviously it gives us a great opportunity to do that again at home against Spurs, which is going to be a, a big big game for us. And uh, obviously, we only a few games remain in the season, and they become more important as, as we go along. As you say, it is a big game, isn't it? There's no denying that. No, I don't think the players never back away from that, and it's it's nice to be in a position where we're having big games at this stage of the season and. There's an importance on it, really. So um, we're looking forward to the game, and uh, hopefully we can, we can bounce back and get three points. As players, I guess these are challenges and, and opportunities you relish. Yeah, exactly. I think, as I said, it's, it's great to be in a position where we're still challenging to be in European spot um, at this stage of the season. We've we've had a, a great season so far, but we don't want it to peter out. Really, it's about trying to see it through, and obviously. Um, Saturday gives us a good opportunity to go and pick up three points against one of our nearest rivals. And it would make a, a big statement as well to, to get one over on, on Tottenham and, and really give ourselves that opportunity to finish above them this season. Yeah, I think so. I think it's important we, we get a real level of consistency in the remaining games and um, we finish the season strongly and highly. And obviously Tottenham have, have had a good season as well so far, so it's a, it's a big, big game for both teams. Since the club's returned to the Premier League, they're the only team in it currently who we haven't beaten so far. What an opportunity and what a chance this is the, the best chance you may have to, to try and do that? Yeah, it kind of feels that we've been a little bit unlucky against them previously. I think overall their performances against them have been a, a quite a good level, but for whatever reason we haven't been able to see through the game and get the right results. So uh, obviously Saturday presents us with another opportunity to, to try and put that right and hopefully we can do it this time. There is of course that extra edge with Maurizio's return. Does that come into your mind at all as players who worked with him last season? I don't think so too much. Obviously, we, we know how Mauricio works and how he sets his teams up, so hopefully that'll be an advantage to us in, in terms of some of the players and we know a little bit about background. But um, on the day, it doesn't really have too much of a bearing effect. I think um, obviously it'd be nice to see him because we, we enjoyed some good time under him here, but we're just confident and get into the game and, and looking to take three points. And I guess you'll be aware of the, the extra edge that the fans will have to this game as well and how important this one could be to them. Yeah, of course. I think um, hopefully we'll, we'll see that. and. They'll get behind us as they always do and, and there'll be an edge from them obviously having a returning manager so uh, it's a game for everybody to look forward to. It's been quite a long season, you've, you've had to come back from an injury, how are you feeling heading into the final five games? Yeah, I'm feeling fit and strong, um, obviously after a little injury it takes a little bit of time but um, it's only a short term one, uh, luckily enough it wasn't too bad and um, just looking forward to the games now. And we also have to mention the goals, you haven't got one so far this season, you came quite close against Hull City. How eager are you to try and get one before the end of the campaign? Yeah, to be fair, it's been a, a real frustration for for me and not not to have scored so far this season. And um, I think I probably told a little bit in, in the way I tried to take the, the shot against Hull. Obviously, there's no doubt I should have scored it. But um, I think whenever you, whenever you're in a position where you haven't scored, then you maybe snatch at things a little bit more than what you would do if you've been on a decent run. But um, hopefully, if I keep getting in position before the end of the season, one will come along and uh, and that may open the gates. Is it something that does play on your mind at all? Um, to fit over the course of the season, it hasn't really too much, but I think um, whenever you miss an opportunity like that, it does more so. And um, Just been trying to concentrate and get in good positions. Obviously, the most important thing is always the team team winning and trying to help out in any way you can. And As a midfielder, you should be chipping away a few goals throughout the course of the season. So it's def definitely been a, a frustrating uh, point for me this year.